So you're thinking about moving to Fairfax City, Virginia. Well guys, this is an area that we've gotten quite a bit of questions on and a lot of interest in actually. So I figured to answer some of these more general questions. We're gonna jump into my computer, take a look at Google Maps and get a better overview of Fairfax City in relation to the major areas and the airport. So you know exactly what the commute is gonna look like there. Then we're gonna zoom into Fairfax City, look at everything you can expect to find within it, what the lifestyle is gonna look like. But with that, let's jump into my computer and make sure to stick around all the way through to the end because we're gonna get after it right now. This is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living here in Northern Virginia and the surrounding areas like Fairfax, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Northern Virginia. My name is Tim and the team and I, we get calls and emails from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia. We do love it. So whether you're looking to move in a day, a year, or any time in between, make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. All right, guys, now that we've magically jumped into my computer, as you can see, this big blob that I'm outlining here is Fairfax County. I just want to give you a better idea of exactly where it's located within Northern Virginia. So as you can tell, it's pretty much in the middle of Washington, D.C., Arlington, and Loudoun, just to the left side of it. And right smack dab in the middle of everything, you've got Fairfax City. And this is a big reason why so many people want to live in Fairfax City. It's just the easy access to all the major areas, especially for the commuters. Now, if you are going to be a commuter and uh, you're especially going to be driving to places like uh, Washington, D.C., for example, you're going to be using Highway 66 all the way down. Now, if you don't want to use the highway or you live on the southern end of Fairfax City, you do have Route 236 and 244 at your disposal. Otherwise, you have Route 50 just in the middle here. I always tend to use and I always recommend using the highway because it's just going to get you there faster and more efficiently. Obviously, these routes here just have a lot of traffic stops, so it's just a lot of stopping and going, but 66 does tend to have a lot of traffic as well, so it's just a give and take. Uh, now, in terms of the commute, on every, all three of these roads, it's going to be about a 20-mile commute all the way down, so it's not too bad. And on a day with no traffic, it's just a perfect day for you. It's going to be about a 35-minute uh, drive down to D.C. Now, if you're going to be commuting for work all the way down to D.C. or Arlington, then you're probably going during rush hour, and that's when the commute is going to be go from 35 minutes to about an hour. And if there's a lot of traffic and you know there's road work or even an accident, you could put another 15 minutes to 30 minutes on that. So you could be looking at an hour and 30 minutes uh, maximum getting all the way down there. And uh, you know, Northern Virginia and Fairfax County are notori notorious for their uh, traffic, especially, you know, commuting down, you're probably gonna be seeing most of the congestion happening here and here. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that many of our residents do tend to commute to the major areas here, especially DC. And that's because they're all spread out throughout uh, Fairfax County and even Loudoun County. So when they drive down and they make their way to Washington, D.C., this is way they, the way they get funneled in through these roads and uh, even these bridges here. And this is the only thing that is really connecting D.C. to Northern Virginia is these five bridges. So you can definitely expect much of the congestion to happen in those areas. But if you don't mind using toll roads and paying for toll roads and you really want to drive down to D.C., then you, know, you do have toll roads all the way down 66 and you even have a toll road bridge here, which never has any traffic on it. So you'd always be looking at about a 35 minute commute to DC doing it that way. Otherwise, if you'd be into looking into something into an alternative, I, I personally use and I always recommend using the um, metro system that you have right here in between Fairfax and Oakton. From the middle of Fairfax to the metro, it's an eight minute drive. So you can drive up there, leave the car for the day, use the bus, have someone drop you off. And from there, it's just a straight shot down to DC. Even that's going to be about a 50 mile or a 50 minute commute, excuse me. Uh, but the good thing about that is that it's very predictable. It's very consistent. So nine times out of 10, it's always going to be 50 minutes. Unlike driving, which I mentioned, you could have the perfect day and it's 35 minutes getting down to work. And on the worst day, it could be an hour and 30 minutes. So uh, never knowing what time you're actually going to be getting there can be a little bit stressful and unnerving for some people. So to alleviate some of that stress and that uncertainty, uh, the Metro definitely provides that and you can build a solid schedule around that knowing exactly what time the Metro is going to come, when it's going to get to DC and what time you're going to get to work. So I definitely think it's a no brainer, but you know, to each their own, if you prefer driving, then you do have that option. Just keep in mind uh, that it can be a little bit volatile. Now for my frequent flyers, whether you're going to be flying every single week, every month, every couple of months or so, you do have the dullest airport right next to you pretty much in your backyard to get there you're going to be using route 50 up route 28 and coming into the eastern face 
of the airport here. Even there, you're looking at a 13 mile commute with about a 20 to 25 minute drive all the way up there. Now, in terms of traffic, you're mostly never gonna see traffic going towards the western part of Northern Virginia. For the most part, it's gonna be going to the uh, major areas here, but obviously depending on the time of the day, if a lot of commuters are gonna be coming back home, especially in these areas of uh, Fairfax County or Loudoun County, you could start seeing some backup here on the Dulles Access Road. And depending on the time of the year, especially Christmas and summertime when a lot of people are traveling, you could see a lot of traffic, especially at the entrance of the airport. But as you can see, uh, in terms of access to the airport in the major areas, you're probably located in one of the, if not the most convenient place within Northern Virginia. Now, obviously there are other places that are, are as convenient. You have Oakton, you have Vienna, you have places just around it here. Uh, but you know, Fairfax City is uh, pretty much smack dab in the middle of it all. And that's why it's such a highly desirable area to live in. But now if we do zoom into Fairfax City and kind of look at what you can expect to find within it, here with just a broad overview, I'll kind of outline what you can what Fairfax City looks like here. Uh, yeah, just on the west side, we're gonna section this off into three parts. Just on the west, west side alone, you have your H Mart, you have your Lowe's, you have your golf store. If you're a big golfer, this is a great store to come visit. Uh, the India Bazaar and the 99 Ranch Market. So you have a lot of grocery stores just on the west side of Fairfax City. Now there's a ton more spread throughout, which we're gonna zoom in and take a look at. Uh, but at this angle, you also have Amazon Fresh right in the middle, brand new. A lot of people love it. You can go do your shopping. You can have it shipped to you as well if you don't want to drive down to the grocery store. And uh, just on the uh, eastern side, you have Home Depot. So here you have your Lowe's, here you've got your Home Depot, and here in the middle, you can't see it now, but you have your Ace Hardware Store. So whether you're a contractor or like to do a lot of DIY work yourself, then uh, you have a ton of options uh, in the area. If you can't find something in one place, you've got two other places to go and look at. And even here, this is probably, we're gonna look at this a little bit later. This is probably where you're gonna be doing most of your everyday shopping. Uh, there's retail stores, there's grocery stores, there's fast food restaurants, there's a little bit of fine dining. There's a ton of different things in that area, which we will cover in just a little bit. But I will mention that Fairfax City does provide you with a little bit more of a dense suburban feel with a population of around 23,000 people. And we do expect that number to steadily go up over the years. Now I know that number might seem a little bit high, but I do definitely believe that the sort of lifestyle that Fairfax provides caters to both types of uh, personalities, the ones that want something a little bit slower and the ones that prefer something a little bit faster. Uh, so I think that's why it caters to so many different people. But if you're on the extreme ends and you want something more rural, then a good rule of thumb is go push out uh, to the west side of Northern Virginia. That's where most of the nature and rural areas are. And if you want something more fast paced, then moving closer to the city like DC and Arlington and Alexandria are gonna be your best bet if you wanna be in the middle of it all. But if you like something in between, then definitely looking into Fairfax County and Fairfax City itself could be a good option for you. Now, if we outline Fairfax City a little bit better here and get a better idea of what it looks like, as you can see, this is the Fairfax City area. I will also mention there's a lot of uh, hotels here. So if you have friends, family that are coming in to visit from out of town and maybe they can't stay at your house for whatever reason, there's a lot of different affordable choices that they can look into. Now, uh, I will say that there is a lot of movement that happens throughout Fairfax City, although it can cater to both lifestyles. As I mentioned, there's always movement going on, especially during rush hour, people commuting back and forth uh, and a lot of people traveling through, especially through these three main roads here, like uh, Old Lee Highway here, Main Street and Route 123. Uh, this is where most of the people are gonna be, either gonna be cutting through to get to neighboring cities, getting home, or doing some shopping within Fairfax City. And uh, being that they're such high traffic areas, this is where you're gonna find most of your high ticket locations, restaurants, fast food restaurants, uh, shopping stores, and uh, grocery stores and stuff like that. If we just look at this intersection here between Fairfax Boulevard and Main Street, this is where there's a ton of shopping and uh, fast food restaurants. Just in this area alone, as you can see, you have Starbucks, Anita's, Burger King, McDonald's. You have a uh, Five Guys somewhere around here. Uh, you have your, uh, your golf store. You have a lot of different shops and stores in the area where you can do some grocery shopping. You can do some more specific shopping such as the India Bazaar, your AutoZone. But yeah, moving up, Old Lee Highway here. As you can see, a lot of businesses, a lot of restaurants. Moving up, you've got your Denny's, you have your Amazon Fresh, as we mentioned, some more specific businesses here, uh, more restaurants. A lot of parks too, that's one thing you're gonna notice and one of the great things 
about Fairfax City is that there's a ton of parks, a lot of trails and ponds that you can come. You can hang out during the summer, take a walk with your friends, your dog, whatever it may be. Uh, there's a lot of places where you can go and kind of decompress from uh, maybe the crazy lifestyle within DC and in the, the major areas out there. Uh, yeah, you've got some more specific shopping with advanced auto parts. You even have your Fairfax Circle shopping center here. This is where a lot of traffic does happen as well because Fairfax Boulevard is probably the street you're gonna be taking to get down to Arlington and DC. So this is where a lot of the backup does happen during the rush hour times and why there's so many businesses in the area. You've got your McDonald's, your Chick-fil-A, your ramen, your Mama Chang, your uh, one of the top uh, American restaurants in Artie's, your Popeye's, you know, more specific businesses here. You've got your grocery stop, uh, stop with Giant. I will also mention that Fairfax City in terms of grocery shopping mostly contains Giant and uh, Safeway and a Trader Joe's as well. If you, if you like something like Wegmans or Costco, we don't have those inside the city, but we do have them right on the outskirts, about 10 minutes away. So you do have easy access to those as well. But within the city itself, you're most likely gonna be seeing places like Giant, CVS, Safeway, Trader Joe's. Now, if we move down uh, Pickett Road, you do have the Army Navy Country Club. If you are a big golfer, you do have that with the only caveat is, I believe it's very exclusive to be a member here, you do need to be part of uh, the military branch in some way, shape or form. You need to be a serviceman or women. So if that's not the case for you, then I believe you can't get access to it. But if you like golfing, if you want a, a place to go golf, there are a lot of parks uh, on the outskirts of Fairfax City, about five to 10 minutes away. But this is the only one within Fairfax City itself. And as I mentioned, you have a lot of parks in the area where you can come take a walk down uh, the creek here even have Daniels Run Park with a lot of trails in the area, even Van Dyke Park, which has some uh, volleyball courts, park for the kids, a big open area where you can come play soccer, frisbee, football, even tennis courts. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then definitely check out Van Dyke Park. It's a big attraction for uh, the residents there, especially during the summer. Now, looking at this area here, this is the Fair City Mall. This is what I mentioned earlier, where you're probably gonna be doing most of your shopping within Fairfax City if you only wanna stay inside of the boundaries. And that's because I, there's a plethora of different options. There's a variety of shopping uh, that you can do here. You have your Safeway, brand new Safeway that was just uh, redone. You have retail stores with Marshalls, DSW, Burlington, PXG, Fairfax. Uh, you have Ross. You also have a Dollar Tree right here, which we're gonna zoom into in a second. You have a lot of fast food restaurants with McDonald's, Potbelly, Wendy's, you have a little bit more fine dining, I guess, with uh, your Korean barbecue, First Watch, Saba, Blue Ocean, and uh, stuff like that. You even have Trader Joe's for your grocery stores, as I mentioned earlier. Here at the Turnpike Shopping Center, you have your Dollar Tree, you have uh, Pete's Coffee, Chipotle, and uh, some banks and stuff like that, very specific sort of things, a lot of uh, firehouse subs as well for your fast food restaurants. And then here at the Pickett Shopping Center, you have your GameStop, Staples, Total Wine and More, uh, Chuck E. Cheese, where you can come and bring your kids for their birthday parties and uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, as you can see, very convenient location. You've got pretty much everything at your fingertips here. And uh, that's a big theme you're gonna notice all throughout Fairfax City is they wanted to make it as convenient for the everyday consumer and for the residents here. They didn't want people to have to drive 20 minutes out, out of the city to go and find a specific store or restaurant uh, or anything like that. You can find pretty much everything in here. And there's a lot of businesses and small businesses, especially that you can come and support. There's a wide variety of them, every, anything ranging from massage parlors to uh, lawyers and everything in between. So it's just a great area to, to come, especially if you wanna have everything in your backyard and you don't wanna be uh, traveling too much. Now here, moving down Main Street, as you can see, I just as I just mentioned, these are apartment buildings, but many of these apartment buildings, the owners utilize their apartment building as a, as a business. Uh, then as you move over, you do have the uh, these general areas here. This is a little bit more specific. You have dental care and some uh, pharmaceutical companies and stuff like that. But just right next to it, you've got your convenience stores. You've got some more smaller mom and pop shops here with Salvadorian food, Italian food, and uh, halal guy or halal food and uh, and some more specific stuff. You also have Goodwill and 7-Eleven and Dunkin' Donuts. So this is a nice little area to go through if you're passing through Main Street to come and get a quick bite to eat, get a drink at Star or Dunkin' Donuts or 7-Eleven. But yeah, if we keep moving down here, uh, you're gonna stumble upon the Main Street Marketplace here. As I mentioned earlier, this is your Ace Hardware store, 
where you have your Lowe's to the left, Ace Hardware Store in the middle, and Home Depot just to the right of Fairfax City, so you have easy access to those. You also have TJ Maxx, Walgreens, the UPS store, Starbucks, like you have in every single corner of Fairfax City, and a lot of uh, other specific restaurant options you have here, which is just great. And you have a lot of small businesses just across the street here. As I mentioned, you have your massage parlor here and, uh, and some other stuff like that. Now inside here, this is Old Town Fairfax. And as the name sort of suggests, this is what Fairfax City used to look like before it became what it is today. Many of the buildings here are still pretty much original uh, to when it was first built. Obviously they've been renovated to stay up to date and not crumble on top of the, uh, the people. But uh, one of the cool places you can come visit that I love is the Old Town Fire Station. This is a, literally what the fire station used to look like back in the day. It's just been renovated now into a Mediterranean restaurant, which I've tried and it's actually really, really good. So if you're in the area, check it out, go take a look at it. Now there's a lot of different restaurants and you're gonna notice that Fairfax City is a very diverse area and to kind of accommodate all the different types of people that live here, you've got a taste for every single day of the week. So uh, you have your Irish pub, you have Thai food, you have Mediterranean food, Vietnamese food, Italian food, Asian food, you have uh, steak and seafood. You've got so many different options in the area. You also have a, a lot of small businesses and mom and pop shops like Brooks Bridal and Ball, which uh, gives you a ton of different options for uh, wedding occasions and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you have Woody's ice cream, which is the best ice cream in the area. So definitely check that out. And uh, that kind of segues into a hangout area where you can get a nice ice cream from Woody's, come down here to Old Town Square, and, and just hang out. This is a fairly new place that they've recently built in the last few years. I believe this used to be a uh, parking lot for, for people that wanted to come and visit Old Town uh, Fairfax, but you know that there was really no need for it because there's a huge parking garage just up here on University Drive. So what they've essentially done is uh, put up all this grass, trees, fountains where people can come, take a seat, hang out, have a good time, and uh, you know enjoy, enjoy the summer especially. They do host some events throughout the year, like Rock the Block. Rock the Block is essentially some restaurants from the area and breweries that come out and they'll serve food, they'll serve drinks. And uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for people to come out with friends, family, meet new people, hang out for the day. And uh, it's a great opportunity if you're ever in Fairfax City or Northern Virginia, I recommend coming to check out Rock the Block because it's a really fun event. They do host it once a month only during the summer. So it doesn't happen very often. But as I mentioned, if you're in the area, definitely check it out. Uh, now, moving down Main Street here, you're going to notice, same thing as I mentioned earlier, a lot of businesses and uh, very specific sorts of businesses as well. Then you're going to end up back where we started at the intersection here between Fairfax Boulevard, Main Street, and Lee Highway. So now just zooming out and uh, sort of uh, discussing the logistics of living in Fairfax City. Now, in terms of the public school system, Niche.com does give Fairfax City an A rating. So you not only get easy access to the major areas, you get a ton of different shopping opportunities within it, but it also gives a really good education system for your kids. So that's why it's such a highly sought after area here. But with that sort of convenience does come a pretty hefty price tag of a median home sale price of around $726,000 and a median income per household of $109,000. Now I know that seems a little high in the grand scheme of things if you take the whole US into consideration, but in comparison to places like California and New York, this is a pretty low number in comparison to that, being that it is also a metropolitan area here. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty standard number this in, compar in, in relation to all of Northern Virginia. It's a little bit higher than the median home sale price all across Northern Virginia, but uh, with the sort of lifestyle that it does provide you, it's, uh, you know, it's to be expected. Now, shifting the conversation over to brand new construction, if that is something that you're looking into and something that's really important to you, then I will say that Fairfax City is sort of lacking in that department. I'm not saying it doesn't have anything uh, available, but for the most part, Fairfax City and a lot of Fairfax County had its big economic boom back in the 50s. So that's when many of these homes and subdivisions were built in the 50s, 60s, 70s for the most part. Now you are gonna see newer homes and brand new homes, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that Many of these neighborhoods don't have HOAs. So a lot of people are taking these rundown homes and homes that require a lot more tender loving care and either tearing them down, especially builders and developers tearing down these homes, rebuilding these huge homes in Fairfax City, or even renovating and restoring these, uh, these rundown homes and adding big additions to them. So you do have that opportunity if that's something that you'd look into, buying one of these uh, more 
rundown homes and maybe tearing them down and building something that uh, suits your needs and what you want to do because without an HOA you can do basically whatever you want on that plot of land but if you want something you know available right now something you can move into a turnkey home for the most part what you're going to be finding in those scenarios is uh, homes ranging anywhere from the 1.3 millions and above so if that's kind of out of your budget which for some people it does push them out of the area for others not but if it does if that is the case i will mention this that i always do recommend pushing out to the west side of northern virginia if you have the luxury to do so especially if you don't need to commute to dc every single day maybe you can go once or twice a week you can work remotely or you can work in the area if you have your own business or you have the uh, dulles technology corridor within loudon county this is definitely a place that I recommend looking into. And that's because if you take a look at the map, these gray areas, as I mentioned, much of Arlington and Fairfax County had their big economic boom back in the 50s and earlier. And just this gray area kind of indicates that it's a well-established place. There's not much room for expansion. There's not much room for growth. And sort of these green pockets that you are seeing here are more uh, uh, national parks and places that you're not going to see uh, new construction pop up on. But with Loudoun County, which is essentially this area all the way down here and here as well. This is all green. This is all room for expansion, all room for growth. And that's what we're seeing right now. Loudoun County is one of the fastest growing areas within Northern Virginia, especially here. Many people want to live in Loudoun County for exactly what I'm telling you right now, but they still want to have some easy access to Fairfax County and the major areas. So you're seeing most of the influx happening in this section here. But if you are someone that wants something more rural, then definitely looking into Percyville, Middleburg, and this area here is a great spot to look into. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because a place like Ashburn 30 years ago had 3,500 people, and now it hosts it's it's got more than 40,000 people residing in it. So you can expect in that 30 year span how much new real estate had to come up and is coming up right now. So that's kind of the theme. You're going to be getting a lot newer homes, bigger homes for probably less than what you'd be finding inside of Fairfax City. So if you do have the luxury of not having to go to the major areas all the time, then Fair uh, Loudoun County is going to be a good option for you, especially now that they're building the Metro line that's going to be connecting all of Fairfax in Northern Virginia and DC to Loudoun County. So we're gonna start seeing a lot more commuters pushing out once they finish that Metro stop in the next year or so. So that's another good option. But if location is a must for you and that's kind of the deciding factor of where you're gonna move, uh, then you know, don't be discouraged by the median home sale price that I mentioned earlier, because that is only taking into consideration the brand new homes that are being built right now that are in the 1.5 to 2 million range. And then the, the, the good, the nice homes that are still in a more affordable range right there. So taking both of those into consideration does give a little bit higher of a number, but there are deals happening all the time. There's really nice homes for really affordable prices, not only in Fairfax City, but Fairfax County in and of itself. All you really need is, you know, have the patience, have the time, and especially be working with the right team that can get your foot through the door, can make sure you're putting your best foot forward and can get these deals out there for you. Uh, if you are interested in something like that, then make sure to check out the description below. But with that being said, now, if we take a brief summary of Fairfax City, I personally believe that it's a really great place to come and set up camp. Now, I may be a little bit biased because I've lived here the majority of my life, but I think for myself and a lot of the resident, residents here, it's checked off many of the boxes of what the perfect area is going to be like for you. But it does come with some cons. One of the main ones that does pop to mind right now is probably going to be the nightlife. As I mentioned, it caters to both types of lifestyles. So with that, you are gonna have a little bit of a lacking nightlife. Uh, not saying that there's nothing to do in there. As you saw, there's a lot of restaurants, there's some bars, there's uh, bowling and stuff like that. So there are some things to do, for, but if you want really major nightlife, then going out to Arlington and Washington DC is probably your best bet, especially if you wanna be living right in the middle of it all, then maybe Fairfax City is not the place for you. Maybe pushing out here is gonna be the best bet. But if you're willing to get in your car, get an Uber, take the bus, take the Metro, you are just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the nightlife in Vienna, Tyson's Corner Mall, Arlington County, uh, Alexandria, Washington, D.C., and even Maryland, which has a casino and the harbor right here with a lot of restaurants, shopping, and stuff like that. You just got to be willing to jump in your car and go explore it. But with that, I will be covering some videos of these areas here if that is something that you're interested in. But if you want more information now, leave a comment down below of what you'd like to know. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email if you want some information right now i'd be happy to help you guys if you stuck around all the way through to the end of the video 
give this video a like and uh, share it with your friends if they're considering moving to Northern Virginia. If you got any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe. If I ever stop giving you value, you can always unsubscribe. But with that, if you're looking to move to Northern Virginia or the, or the surrounding areas, make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the info is down below. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move here to Northern Virginia. But as always, until then, we hope to show you around town.